Good day people, hope you are doing good. Uh, in this video, I'm going to walk you guys through an application called Circulator Webin. Now this is not a, kind of a, certain, you know, a separate application that you have to install on the computer or any of your devices. This, is, this can be accessed over a browser on any devices. Okay, so this is a kind of a online um, browser-based application. On this webin, you can have an access on the uh, most of the menu part that you would see on Cellflator POS. Just open up a browser and you have to type in localhost L-O-C-A-L-H-O-S-T Alright Now if you guys are on the same network I mean if you are a calculator and your computer are on the same network then you can type localhost and press enter and then it's gonna ask you for the signing credentials Now the username always is gonna be web admin by default so that would be web admin w e b a d m i n and the password is just password again that will be p a s s w o r d all the letters in lower cases so p a s s w o r d and hit enter this is the dashboard of the circulator webin the first part on the dashboard, as you can see, uh, this is the most prominent one. It shows payments. So these are the payments, uh, the total payment that is being carried out as of today or as of now. Um, and it changes based, you know, every time you perform a closed cache, right? Once the cache is closed, uh, the sequence gets closed and it, it kind of resets itself and it starts from zero. Now, uh, as you can see on the right side, it shows the number of uh, sequences that is running now so now this is the second sequence and in the second sequence we have 314.40 uh, bucks that is being the transaction carried out so far also it will show some number showing payments 10 here so that means there are total 10 payments on in this sequence alone all right so the top the, the, the bottom part will show you the, the the split information on this payment like whether it is in a cash payment or if it's a refund or if it's a free payment or free, free purchase by one of the priority customers or and if it is a, uh, a card payment all right so combined together it'll calculate the total amount that is paid or the payments made and it'll be you know shown on top on this yellow band here now coming back to this you have the receipts then you know it will show you the receipt and it will show you the sales total amount and that including the refund and everything together and then you have a stock value that will be the total value of your warehouse products okay so that will be displayed here so as and when the value gets reduced it will get updated on this top right corner okay so this is the cash sequences and uh, it, this one show you here it says sales by cashier that will be displayed for you who are the cashiers dealing on this current sequence and it will be displayed here and the total sales made by these individual cashier will also be able to be viewed all right and then coming down you have the top products that are on sales and we have weekly sales status here we have all the receipts that is updated automatically the latest receipts and everything if you click here you can see the receipts like we have uh, um, the refund receipts as well it'll show you the refund receipt here so these are the refunds made and then then we have uh, the latest stock in and the latest stock out so meaning all those stocks that is uh, come you know come into the inventory uh, so in this scenario we have all the stock coming back to us it is because of a refund and the all the stock that is getting out of the inventory or the stock all right so mostly it will be through sales or any other transaction so those will be updated on a real-time basis for each and every sequence so these are the important stuff that you can have a glance from the main page or the dashboard of the webin application on your browser now coming to the left side you have the main menu uh, after the dashboard you have something called sales click on the sales and you have all these options down here it shows active tickets receipts closed cash reservations and payments now just click on the receipts and you'll be able to pull down all the receipts for these um, sequences 
all right so it'll list you out all the recipes uh, you can have a watch on the recipe for every transaction like that and for active tickets now there's no active ticket if it is there it will be populated there and we have a closed cash report as you as i've told you before uh, we're running on the second sequence the first sequence is closed so uh, it'll show you the time the first the first sequence was started and the time the first sequence ended and the total uh, payment uh, or the transaction carried out on the first sequence and you can also view a uh, uh, you know transaction report on this okay the closed cash report can be generated okay coming down to the purchase you have something called uh, important stuff is stock maintenance uh, and you click the stock maintenance it'll show you all those stock records okay and uh, it's going to be showing you the date the, you know the uh, payment was made or the transaction was carried out for the product and whether the product was uh, uh, incoming product and outgoing product like if, this, if it is a refund it's going to be an incoming product and if it is a sales it's going to be an outgoing product as you could uh, understand that and uh, it show you the warehouse from where the product has been utilized and then you have the barcode and the product and the number of units that is being included in the transaction and what are the units pending maybe and it shows the price amount that is involved on the transaction so these are reports that you get from the stock maintenance and you have products here when you click on the product it will show you the total progress that is available on the circulator so it will show you 6477 there are totally 6477 products available on our circulator as of now now you can always delete the product or maybe edit it or can also add the product on the book on this list all right so that's something like you, you don't have to access the actual uh, you know the sale clear software here instead you can do it from the web browser itself so that's one of the part of the products and you have auxiliary products similar to that and you have product categories which you can add and you know edit on yourself and we have tariff and you can add the tariff for certain type of transactions if you want then we have uh, reorder levels now uh, the reorder levels um, It'll show you, uh, it, it's, it's, this is the place where you're gonna update the total uh, or the minimum and the maximum uh, stock, you know, stock amount or the products units, okay? And then uh, for finance, we have all the accounts related you know, information here. You can uh, um, add the bank accounts or, you know, and you can do anything with these uh, options here for the finances concerned. You have payments options and transaction, deposit, transfer, payment heads and statements all the stuff from the finance and also from uh, the partners you have the two options like customers and the supplies these are partners obviously so uh, you can edit the customers click on the suppliers um, when you add the supplier it's going to ask you for all the details about the suppliers so coming back to the uh, important part it is the reports and what we have in reports is we have the sales report and uh, we have the purchase report finance reports customers report the supplies report when you click on sales report you have all those reports that you have you can um, maybe for example I can show you, you can click on the product sales and just we just click you know you can either uh, search by filter out the product uh, report based on the category product code or product name or for, uh, for a range of date but I'm just gonna go ahead and click on execute to get the complete details so that this is gonna pull up all those product um, you know sales report so these are the sales the complete sales report so far that you can see on the screen here so we have this much of sales that is done so far okay so this will be the sales amount and this is the total profit that you got for that for this much of sales uh, that is performed now the other important reports under the purchase if you go that you can have a current inventory click on current inventory just click on execute all right, so this is how the inventory, uh, this, this the current inventory report looks like. So this is how you can view the total report for the inventory products you have. So there's gonna be a lot of products, uh, 6,000 something. It's gonna show you the entire report that is available on your warehouse, okay? The, we have settings, and when you click on settings, we have all those options that is available under the maintenance okay i would say so we have all those options that you get from maintenance you have something like users rules and resources all these options or whatever you can edit or customize it is available 
on Webin as well. So you have company information, you have warehouses. You click on warehouses, you can add or edit the warehouse details, and then we have you know the tax category. So it's like um, I have uh, two tax categories uh, added, like that and tax exempt, and we have roles now. So as I told you, uh, you can e easily edit or customize the roles that is available on your calculator. Okay, so these are the existing roles now. Edit the roles here. And also we have um, uh, users that you can click on edit and you can do all this stuff. Okay, you can put the name and the password for the user and the cache, the role for the user and click on submit, it'll be taken. All right. And we have something called the resources which is actually the resources uh, available on the sale calculator. The one that shows here, this is the resources that you have in sale calculator. So um, it is the exact same resource that is available for you in web admin. So you can do all those editing customization uh, with these uh, resource page on this webin. And then the last one is bulk load. And we have already uh, made a video separately on a bulk load uh, process using this webin. Uh, this is in fact used uh, when you have a multiple number of products and uh, you know categories you know compiled on an Excel sheet or a spreadsheet and you can copy paste on all the categories here and click save and all the product details like barcode name buying price, selling price and category and you can click save and then you can come back again and put the, all the barcodes for the stock and the quantity of the stock and click save. That's it. It's going to get updated automatically back on your calculator software. So you cannot do an actual uh, sales transaction on this webin. It can be carried out only from the uh, sale calculator point of sale software at the counter. So uh, that is uh, done by the cashier. So the cashier process cannot be performed. So you can only take over the manager and the administrative processes using this webin application. Hope you guys had a good time uh, going through this app. Um, you guys can reach us back anytime uh, through our website www.sellcalculator.com for any other questions. Thanks again for your time. You have a wonderful day. Take care.